Welcome back to another edition of Manoa Underground. We have a very special treat today. We are joined by reigning WAC Player of the Week and softball superstar Jessica Iwatha. Jessica, welcome to the program. Thank you. Well, we talked to Breland Amadova from the baseball team last week, and he was mentioning how hard it is to hit home runs just at a Les Morikami Stadium. And you know, um, they only have a couple as a team on the year. He has one. It's an inside the park home run. But it seems so different from you guys, where power is like a big part of your game. Is that something that Coach Kulin really, um, you know, promotes as far as trying to hit home runs, or is that something that just kind of happens during the course of a game? Um, he, it's not so much of us that he wants us to hit home runs. It's just he wants us to not get cheated, and um, he does he does work on his power hitters. I mean, we don't have maybe we have one slapper, and he, when he recruits people, he does he finds his power hitters and. It's what he likes his game. We we hardly bunt. As, I mean, anyone who know who watches us, we are kind of terrible at bunting. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but it's because our game is that um, we like to hit and we like to accumulate runs that way. And um, it's not so much that we're gonna go up there thinking that old oh, coach Bob wants us to hit a home run all the time. It's just he he won't let us get cheated out of our swings and um, we go up there and swing hard. I mean. If you go up there and swing hard and you don't get a hit, it's better than going up there and like not doing anything at all, you know? <laughs> what was it like going to class after you guys beat Cal? Um, we actually asked for the day off. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we didn't want to go to class that day. We were like, we beat Cal. This is awesome. I mean, we don't want to go to school the next day. But I mean, of course we went to class. But, <laughs> but we were like, you should give softball a day off right today. This, that, <laughs> last night was awesome. Everyone was screaming and stuff. and. Um, there's a lot of people coming up to me and um, congratulating me, and it's 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 nice to to see that um, softball is getting recognition. Because I mean, a lot of times we get kind of pushed behind all the other sports, and um, it's nice to kind of get softball and Hawaii out there on the map. They know that we can play now. Oh, so then you didn't just play softball; you played soccer and <laughs> basketball, and my favorite was bowling. Like, <laughs> you, you, didn't you lead two division title bowling teams? <laughs> Yeah, we. Um, I just decided to to bowl just because I didn't have to run a lap before every <laughs> practice, and um, it was something that one of my me and my friends wanted to go out and do. And um, my grandparents actually bowled, and um, my parents bowled when they were um, back. So I guess it was kind of in my blood. But I just I never had time to do um, any of those junior bowling stuff because I was always in everything else. And um, when I got to high school, I just did it because I had some extra time, and um, it was. It was something that I didn't take too seriously, but we ended up doing really well. So, yeah, it was just something that I I, I wanted to do because I didn't have to run really. Now, how good are you at bowling? <laughs> <ball? That's awesome. laughs> how good are you at bowling? Like, you, can you get out there and you're like throwing one eighties, two hundreds, or what are we talking about? Um, I think my highest was I bowled a two forty seven or two forty eight in <laughs> in the states um, up in Hilo after my. I think my sophomore junior year and um, I mean I've never done that again but that was my <laughs> highest ball I mean after my first year I think I averaged maybe 175 but I mean I didn't I don't know how to like do that fancy curvy ball stuff like I just like throw it at the pin like how I throw a softball I don't know I just aim I don't know how to use the arrows on the ground and they used to, they try to teach me but I just would throw the ball at the base. As you can see, you've had a huge inspiring effect on everyone, including myself. So thank you so much for sitting down with us and good luck on the rest of your season. Thank you.